All right, well, first of all, I want to thank everybody uh, for uh, gathering here today. Um, this is really one of the most important things, I think, that uh, we need to do, which is to organize ourselves around what is a very complex and wide-ranging problem. Uh, oh, I have my own name tag there. I Now I know who I am. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Um, and um, this is really different for me. I just recently relocated here 11 months ago. I came from Miami. I'm very familiar with hurricanes, wildfires, not on the list of things that I truly understood. Um, but when I got here, uh, the campfire was already uh, uh, getting started, and um, it really changed my view of what was one of the uh, most important uh, uh, public health menaces uh, in terms of natural disasters uh, that exist out there. The nature of California's growth, our climate change, the weather extremes that we're seeing, the intermittent droughts and record rains, et cetera, here are uh, producing a very interesting interplay that only a group like this can really dissect, understand, and frankly, uh, hope to ameliorate uh, those impacts. Um, Cal Fire says 15 of the state's largest wildfires ever have burned since the year 2000. Um, we, they do not see a, uh, a change in that trajectory. So the work being done here will be really important for the future. Um, and we have a new model of a public health crisis to a certain degree here, which is you know an intense, unplanned and unexpected long-term event, right? Earthquakes, mudslides, urban unrest, um, a variety of different issues are usually here and then they're over. Whereas these very large wildfires, not only do they go on for a long time necessarily, but they have a very, very wide ranging uh, impacts across a large part of our environment and our state and uh, those uh, uh, those impacts are felt for uh, quite some time afterwards, especially in the communities. Um, as a matter of fact, the, uh, this has actually caught the attention of academic health systems around the nation. Uh, the Association of uh, American uh, Academic Health Centers recently asked me to pen a, uh, a little editorial on you know, how do you deal with a, an event like this because it's really sort of unprecedented. Um, we had some of the uh, worst uh, air quality right here in Sacramento ever recorded in uh, California. As a matter of fact, for five days, I believe we had the worst air quality in the world. Uh, following the campfire, and um, I was I was shocked because I've I've been to Shanghai and Beijing on bad days, and uh, and this was uh, and and Harbin too, where you can barely see to the end of the block sometimes. But um, this 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 beat all of them, and figuring out how to deal with our people in an acute frame, and then figuring out how we deal with survivors of the campfire from uh, both the social devastation, healthcare interruptions, and healthcare impacts is quite a challenge uh, and an ongoing challenge. Uh, those of you may or may not know, um, uh, in you know, Adventist Hospital in Feather River uh, burned down pretty much. And uh, we recently uh, partnered with them to open up a chemotherapy infusion center up in Chico uh, in order to help uh, residents there uh, have easier access uh, to ongoing chemotherapy. That's one of those things you, you, know, you just don't even think about, right? What do you do with people who have chronic illnesses who are dependent on the services that were previously provided in a scarred area? Um, so the work that you're doing is incredibly important and it's incredibly important that you're here because I think that um, as we draw from a uh, national uh, group of true experts, we also have an amazing breadth of capabilities uh, right here at uh, UC Davis, whether it's uh, our veterinary school, which pioneered ways uh, to do uh, skin grafts and, 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 and paw re and not reconstructions, repair uh, of animals uh, that uh, both domestic and livestock uh, that, were, that, are, that are hurt in fires. Um, or our environmental uh, science experts um, who understand uh, how to begin to compile uh, the data that, that explains the impact of environmental um, toxins on our populations, or our pulmonologists uh, who are dealing with the implications on chronic lung disease of both the fire itself and the, the smoke and the pollutants, or our burn. Uh, doctors, I see uh, Dr. Palmieri is in the is in the area. Uh, you know, our burn center is uh, one of the most highly rated in uh, California, and uh, as a result, not only of the the physicians, but sadly because of our experience uh, in in uh, receiving burn victims. So, um, figuring out how we're going to actually make a difference 
in the trajectory of the people who have, and our environment that has been impacted by the fires is, is incredibly important for Northern California. And I just want to say thank you all very much for gathering here. Thank you for contributing to the solution. And I will very much be interested in reading about the outcome of this conference. So I, I kept it purposefully short because you guys have real work to do. Uh, as Ken could probably tell you, I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to today. Thank you very much for coming.